So this looks like a real good opportunity to showcase my Moai strategy. And this is going to be take about 20. Take 20 on this example. Because I cannot win a game when I do this strategy. And because it's stupid mistakes. I just came in second place. I lost to a guy with zero kills. I about, I about had, a, I had a stroke. So the Moai statues are these. These big old guys that look like the, the dad from Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. So we're gonna, you gotta put up to, to not lose your loot. I'm gonna try to showcase this and demonstrate what you have to do. So I just did a video about these. Everything you wanted to know about these Moai statues. And I will link it in the outro as well as, are you kidding me? Oh, that's going to be one of these games. The outro as well as the description. So there's seven of these giant stonehead locations. And if you watch my video, you'll know where they all are. And these rifts, there they can potentially be zero to four rifts that spawn next to them. I mean, like I said, it could be zero. So if you do find one that doesn't have one, you could be up a creek without a paddle. Like this one, I don't know if this one's going to have one. I hope it does. Because it's going to ruin my strategy if it doesn't. Yeah, it does. Sweet. And you need the, the platforms right there, too. Uh, we're just going to drink this. So, potentially, each of these stone heads can spawn three, up to three chests. And in addition, they give you between, if you destroy it, between 80 to 125 wood. Okay, so theoretically, you could get up to nine chests in, let's see, so far I've been recording for two minutes. And this is the third one. This is the third head up here. This one may have been looted because the bus went right over it, but we're going we're gonna to try. So theoretically, you could get up to nine chests effortlessly. Oh yeah, it's, it's unlooted. Look at this. And in addition, you get upwards of 300 brick. And the other added benefit is... By the time you get to the third one, the lobby is half destroyed. Now look, there's only 50 people left, give or take a few. Now unfortunately this was a bad example because I think I had one chest at each of them. The last game I played that I lost, there were three chests on all of them. So I had a perfect example. Example. I had nine chests. And I, I choked it in the in the, the 1v1 versus a noob. So, wow, I picked up bandages. I meant to pick up uh, the other Tommy gun here. And then, so let's say I came here on this third one, and let's say I wasn't in the circle. You could still use these rifts to escape. I mean, it's this strategy is intended for lesser skilled players, is, is, what, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, you know, we don't really need two Tommy guns, but... Oh. We will replace that one with that. I get a lot of comments in the comments section saying, help me get to late game. Like, I, I can't get to the late game. So that's what I'm trying to help people with here. I mean, this technique not only potentially gets you that much loot, but also... I lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, <laughs> but also gets you to the mid to late game. Now, of course, the drawback to this is you're not going to see many people. Like sometimes you'll you'll get contested at this at this at the giant heads, but more often than not, you're not going to see a single person. I don't think Greasy Grove has been looted until a while after you finish up with your third statue. And for some people, that's what they want. They just want the loot, and they don't want to be seen. I gotta itch my eye here. But my favorite thing to do... What is that down there? Uh, my favorite thing to do is what I call the... The eagle approach. And with the leftover rifts here... You can utilize them to just glide in the sky and watch for movement. And when you see movement, you just strike down like an eagle would. Pounce on them. Now these rifts, they do uh, close up. Obviously, if someone goes in one, it closes up, but also, after a while, they, they just close automatically. 
So I'm just going to do the eagle thing and just glide a minute. See if we can catch someone moving. You're just watching. This is a great way to find llamas as well. Oh, look at this supply drop. We'll take that instead. And we're just going to watch for movement as well. See if we can get someone scampering to it. I see nothing, but I've, I've got the jump on so many people doing this. And there's a lot of rifts by these mountains as well. So look at this. 25 people left. I mean, we haven't seen a single person yet. Oh, I'm, I am going to take that minigun. Because the minigun can win you games. I don't really need the shotgun. Let's just swap that around. And we're going to eat some shrooms. Uh, the minigun, for sure. You get into the final situation. Like 1v1. I don't care who's on the other end. If it's ninja or whoever. Chances are they're not outbuilding uh, 300 bullets. 300 bullets plus from the minigun. It's just... It's very hard to do. So I always try to grab the minigun late game. That's one of my low-key tips. Just want one more mushroom. I'm going to go back to the rift. But like I said, if you're a... If you're into the high kill games, maybe just maybe just utilize one of the statues because you're not going to see many people. And by the way, I also get a lot of comments saying how like give me tips to 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 win. Like I can make it to the end game but then I can't I mean let's see how do they word it? Uh, people usually say teach me how to get to the end game and teach me then how to win, but if you're using, like, the hiding strategy, the bushes, the camping in the bottom of a building, you're, you're just not going to get better. I mean, you have to actively engage people in fights and then learn from it. Learn from your mistakes. So if someone kills you, watch the replay and see if you can learn something from it. Maybe maybe you can learn a building tech a building technique that you didn't know about. I think, yep, this one's up there. Gonna be something if I hit him. I wonder if we can go over there. We'll see if we can. Oh, he landed right on another one. Let's see if he comes towards me now. I <laughs> got him. He's gonna have sour grapes about that. Let's see if he comes at me. Oh my gosh, another one. Oh, that guy might have just ganked my portal. Well, he is coming. <laughs> he said, screw you. Oh, now the chase begins. Where did he go? There he is. The chase begins. He's going to hit the other... Oh, it, it closed on him. Did you see that? Oh, you're done now, buddy. You're done, son. That's what you get for trying to rift away from me. <laughs> The minigun. Oh, he had a jump head too? What a bozo. Low-key winning fights. Since 1963. Uh, I kind of want to keep my silent pistol. Eh. I'll keep... Oh, someone's in there. Oh, God, she's right there. Where's my, uh... I'll go back for those minis. Trying to... Bounce one in her kisser there. Ah! Struggle is real here. But the minigun is it? Holy crap, did you see how fast that melted her? We gotta go back for my minis before it's time to go. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why I pick up a minigun.
Oh no, my control freaks about fell off. Uh, how far have we gotta go? We gotta go a little bit. I'm gonna save my launch pad. Hopefully nobody can see me from here. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna drop this and hopefully take his. Yeah, so he had more ammo, so that was pretty smart. Look at all the SMG. Wait, I only have two kills? That's it? Oh, I thought I had way more than that. That's embarrassing. Man, I kind of want to... I thought I had a fire pit too. Gosh dang it. I kind of wanted to forge for some shrooms here, but... Whee! Maybe I can pick some up down here. Oh, it looks like someone scavenge them all. Am I gonna make this? Without taking damage? Eh, it's gonna be close. Uh, oh yeah, so I was saying, I mean, you can get to the end game by camping, but unless you try to learn from your mistakes, it's... I don't think you're ever gonna improve. I think someone's in this? I think they are. What? Why did I not blow it up? How am I not... Honestly, how am I not blowing this up? There we go. If you want to kill me, buddy, play the way to snipe me. Oh, there's two people down here. Let's go. Whoa. You got that shot off quick. Did he? Did he? Oh, he did not get out of here. The one drawback to the minigun. Um, I don't like this situation, but there's too many guys. Too many. There's only two. All right, buddy. Say hello to my little friend. Hope the other guy doesn't get an angle. Well, where'd this guy come from? Thanks for the... Shit for idea lunch, buddy. Oh man, how am I gonna get that though? What? guys over there. Interesting. Look at all the ammo I got. Can you see me from here? Hopefully not. Ah, I'm a little... I'm a little confused. Where'd this guy come from? Wow, we. This guy's gonna be on my butt in just a second. I wanna grab this and retreat. I really, I didn't get any minis out of that, huh? Just 
want to get up on this hill before someone shoots me down. Oh, wow. Well, the good news is that was not at me. Bad news is I got no rockets out of that. There's only a few people left. Let's see if... Has this been looted? Uh, yeah, I think everyone is down here. I still got a launch pad. I just don't have any minis. I feel naked. Naked and afraid. Hmm. What do I want to do here? Let me analyze the situation. I, I don't see how many people are over there. I see this guy hopping in the... Minigun, low-key, saving lives here. Let me investigate. Because someone could have left me some... Could be some rockets up here, maybe a mini if I'm lucky. Oh, well, okay. Or, eh, we can get a rocket. Nope. How about, nope, nothing over there. Ah, uh, let's see if someone comes towards me. I mean, I could launch over there. I, I just can't believe this guy that just pushed me like that didn't have any... There's another guy up there. Didn't have any minis. There's apples up here. There's everything I need except for shield. Okay, sometimes there can be a... Oh, yeah. There's a crate right there. Come on, rockets. Dang it. All right, one more check. Probably nothing in here, but no. Okay. We're going to have to make a move. Actually, we're, we got a good circle, but I see a guy. I'm trying to figure out where everyone is. There's one right there, one over there. That's two. I'm three, four, five. Oh, baby. Here comes six, possibly. That guy got picked. And there's, there's another guy. Oh, is he going to come at me? Come on, buddy. Come on up here. Oh, that's dumb. You're going to get shot down. See you later, alligator. What? All oh, it takes is one shot with this. Behind the tree now? Hey, you started this. Who started it, Miguel? Was this a school for ants? Someone got pegged right there. Who killed that guy, though? Look at all that loot I gotta let go. Is someone gonna come for that? I'm just being observant. There he is. Oh, he's looking at me, I think. That's okay. So we got one guy down there. Where's the other guy? We got the high ground. We got this. If see if we can. Like I said, this <laughs> this mini gun. Let's just hope the other guy doesn't sneak up behind us. Can you tell if there's any? I don't know who I'm talking to, but oh, he might have found him. Yes. Oh, he did. Now that's game. That is game, folks. Let me show you the power of the mini gun. Hold on, let's wait till he emerges. I don't know where he is exactly right now. I think he's by that building. And we got high ground. If I lose this, I'm the worst player in the world. The fact that I can't see him makes me a little nervous, though. So. There he is. You see him back there? Skedaddling like an ant. But what, why did he go that way? There he is. Can the minigun hit from this far out? I mean, he's looking right at me. It's an Omega, I think. My hands are all sweaty. I'm taking the time to wipe my hands off. He's going to try to dip behind these trees. Uh, I'm looking for him. The, la the last thing I want to do is poke my... There he is. Say hello to my cheaty friend. Can't avoid this. Entertain the hope that somehow you'll escape me. 
breathe deeply the illusion of your safety, young man. I'm going to keep spraying. I'm going to keep spraying. We're going to spray this whole world down. It's the power of the minigun right there. And my big head statue technique, strategy, has paid off. Finally, look at it rain. It's confetti. I didn't notice that before. The minigun, one of the best weapons in the game. 60,000 damage to structures. I'd like to see anyone beat that. Seriously, next time you win a match, push square. See if you come close to almost 61,000 damage. That's a lot of damage. Long live Corollis Rex.